Hello, my name is Catherine and I'm in Kiss Me Deadly and I'm here today to talk about the Fun Lace Girdle because the last set of videos we did about this were about two years ago and we don't have the files anymore and can't remember where we left them. The reason that it's taken two years is because the Fun Lace Girdle involves these components and no one makes them anymore because fun lacing isn't a common thing anymore. It was an innovation uh, earlier last century when somebody finally realised that it might be quite nice if women could get themselves in and out of their own clothing without needing help. The reason that it's been stuck since those two years is because we didn't want to start making them, spend a lot of time on developing it all and then discover that we couldn't get the components because we've had that happen before with garments. So we've been searching for a supplier of these that we know will have more than 20. Uh, we finally found someone we have at the moment got a stash of these living in America, we just need to find a way to get them back to the UK and then we'll be getting on with production just before Christmas and probably over the new year. So, this is not the most immaculate styling we've ever done but that's because we had loads of practical questions about it so I wouldn't be able to demonstrate those. Uh, it does up at the front with a hook and eye, which is obviously unusual for a non-stretch or largely non-stretch garment. Um, but it does make sense for a more corset style garment. This is another in between the garment. We call it a girdle and most people are therefore expecting it to be power net like our usual girdles, but the reality is that in construction it's more like a corset. It's non-stretch fabric for the most part um, and it has boning in it, which I wouldn't often put in a girdle for us. It's not steel boning, it is plastic flexible boning and that should mean that we can make the length different for different sizes. So, hooks and eyes at the front. All of the black shiny fabric is non-stretch. Four small suspender tabs, which is more authentic to the period and in all honesty we couldn't quite work out how to fit six on this without looking a bit weird. These seams here have got the plastic boning in, it's flexible plastic boning. And there is a small amount of stretch around the hip from the sheer power mesh inserts. Obviously the exciting bit about this is the back, which currently looks a little bit like a mess. So, things to note. First off, in production this will be a gross grain ribbon. Someone asked us about this because they were asking how it would stand up to being pulled tight. We've been putting ribbon into the back of corsets rather than uh, corset string uh, for quite a while and we haven't really run into any problems. The only problem that we did anticipate was putting a satin ribbon into this bit because this will take most of the pressure and it will get a lot of rub as you take it on and off. So we're going to change it to gross grain ribbon which is a bit heavier duty than the satin. This is all just double faced satin ribbon, narrow, we're doing it in blue and green. We've kept it contrast because the nice bit about this is the contrast and people were asking about the fit. So, as you know, with corsets you get a lot of fit flexibility just for the fact that you can pull it open and shut it. And in this case, there's extra flexibility because you can change this bit and this bit differently. When you put it on, like a normal corset, you'd open the front, put it around you, start doing it up, but then rather than having to reach behind you and individually pull each set of laces and fiddle about with it and then turn around and look in the mirror and then fiddle about with it a bit more, you just pull these bits. This mannequin's a bit of a peculiar shape, which is actually quite helpful because I can show you that I can lace the top bit very tight. And then the bottom bit, which you can see I've not done up, I can leave less tight. Obviously if you're actually wearing this, we'll leave you quite a lot of spare ribbon, but if you're wearing this regularly then what you'll want to do is set it to roughly your dimensions, leave yourself a little bit of spare and tie this off. Again, if you want to get out of it, I've just remembered the other reason that we put the cross grain ribbon in, which is much, much easier to move around. You just loosen one strap rather than pulling the whole lot. So, hopefully that makes some sort of sense. There is somebody much younger and nimbler than me actually getting in and out of one of these on our YouTube channel, so I'd recommend that you go and look there. 
and a whole bunch of other videos about how we developed it, um, not to mention the actual photographs. They're being made in the UK and they're available on pre-order at the moment.